YouTube, this is Michael from Asymmetrical Preparedness. Today's video is on sheepdog mentality. What is that? Is that a dog that's running around protecting the sheep herd? Well, yeah, kind of. Except for, where are the dogs? The sheeple out there are the average Americans, average people around, wherever country you're from. So those average people that are running around like zombies, walking around like zombies, like this, da, 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 and their cell phones, zombified by social media and whatever it is that they're doing on their phones. I don't know. Good people, the sheepdog mentality is where good people stand up for what's right. We stand up against bad. Alright? We're the good guys with guns stopping the bad guys with guns. We're the good guys that pull over and render aid at the scene of an accident, not just watch, drive by, or film it. Sit there and film it. All right, we're the ones that pull over, grab our med kit, make sure 911's dialed, and go to, into the scene of the accident to render aid, to assist those in need. We assist those in need. We protect those that are weaker than us less capable than us, less prepared than us. This is why we do things like EDC, everyday carry, carry your firearm, carry a pocket knife, cordage, tourniquet, IFAC or med kit, all these things. And there's a lot of other things, of course, in EDC that you could carry, but I'm just you know, throwing it out there in general. We need to foster that mentality. Sheepdog mentality is what we need more people to be. We need more good people standing up for right and protecting against the wrongs. Um, you know, we stand up, we're protectors basically of free will. We're not the ones, like they say, in a, a crowd mentality or whatever it is. Whenever the more people you get around the scene of something, the less likely somebody is to do something because they don't want to seem weird or something like I don't know what the mentality is behind that. But that's the mentality of just standing there and watching and not knowing what to do or how to act or not wanting to be different that allows women to be attacked on the streets or raped or hurt or people to be beat up or robbed or whatever it is. And that people just stand there and watch and don't do anything about it. Well, I'm not one of those people. I'm a sheepdog. I stand up for what's right. And I encourage you guys to do the same. And you know, guys, gals, gal, you know, women can be sheepdog also. So we need good people. I want to encourage you guys to have an EDC. If you are okay with and you, you know, you're a, a firearm person, then by all means carry. Please carry with you at all times. Uh, I'm not saying you have to. I'm not here to preach at you and tell you what you have to do. You gotta do this! You know, no. You know I'm not like that. I want to encourage you guys to carry. If you don't have a firearm, I encourage you to get one and get the training so that you're comfortable with it. You gotta be comfortable with it and safe with it. And have the ability to employ it in a dangerous, hazardous situation. When your heart rate's through the roof, when stuff's going on all around you, chaos is ensuing. People running everywhere because somebody's, you know, out there... Uh, spewing forth evil and you don't run away from it we don't run away from the issues or the problems or whatever's going down we run towards it okay we help others we save others a lot of people are sheepdog by their job description firefighters policemen EMTs medics doctors military lot of other people out there all right but as private citizens we need to stand up and we need to be that so I encourage you like I said I'm not telling you what to do I'm encouraging you guys to have this sheepdog mentality and that is what it is because the sheepdog protects the herd of sheep that's what we need good people out there doing we need good people out there prepared people, trained people with the ability to stop nefarious deeds around the world and our country. So please, I encourage you guys and gals to 
receive training, build confidence, don't run away from problems, run towards them, solve them, be part of the solution, not part of the problem. And this could go along with the whole thing, prepare a little every day. If you have a firearm, practice some dry fire exercises. Uh, please don't dry fire your firearms without a snap cap in, a, in, the, in the chamber because you'll damage the firing pin on a lot of firearms. I'm not going to go through a list of which ones are safe to do that with or which ones aren't, but that's just a side note. Make sure you're doing it properly. Practice drawing from your concealed location. Practice, you know, all the things. Um, practice finding cover. Situational awareness is big time for sheepdog. You have to be situationally aware. If you're walking around on your cell phone like this, then you have zero situational awareness. I've seen it in the city all the time. Just everybody walking around with zero situational awareness. I'll pick out the people that do. They stick out to me like a sore thumb. I recognize, hey, that person gets it. That person might be a sheepdog. You know? So, talk to others about this. Talk to people you care about. Spread the word. Get the mentality out there. Build it. Foster it. I love you guys. If you guys like the channel, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Comment below. Comment how you feel about Sheepdog. What kind of things you do that are Sheepdog-ish. What have you done? What are you ready to do? What do you carry? Stuff like that. Anything. Whatever you feel froggy of <laughs> sharing. So, yeah, I love you guys so much. So blessed by you guys. Prep out of peace of mind, not out of fear. Remember, we don't fear this. Sheepdogs, we don't fear this. You know, we're ready for it. I'm not saying we run around, you know, slinging guns everywhere and shooting up the town and stuff like that. Of course not. But we're ready to do what it takes uh, when it needs to be done. So, I love you guys so much and blessings to you and yours.